For the Zips Digital Network, Chad Welker here with head coach John Gross. We are two weeks away from the home opener of the 2019-2020 season against Malone. Coach, uh, we haven't talked to you in a little bit, so tell us how things have been going in the uh, training uh, area for you this year. Sure. Uh, Preseason, we just completed practice 20 today. Um, I feel like we're, you know, we're a work in progress. We're getting better. Uh, trying to blend in all of our newcomers with our veterans and get guys to understand what we expect on a daily basis. You know, really from an effort standpoint, an attitude standpoint, coachability, toughness mentally and physically, you know, our ability to uh, help others make our teammates better. You know, that's what good teams do. So it really starts there. Um, we've gotten better in a lot of those areas, but we still got to be more consistent with some of those. Those are what we call our, our blue and gold standards. And then certainly from an X and O standpoint, you know, our defense right now has got to get better. Um, you know, obviously last year we were number one in the league um, and top 25 in the country defensively, and we're not near at that level right now defensively. But it's still early, and uh, we're 20 practices in, and I do think with our length and athleticism, you know, we have an opportunity to get better there. And then offensively, Chad, I think the biggest difference for people that watch us will be our pace. You know, we're playing at such a so much faster pace offensively. It takes us really, you know, being in tip-top elite level condition. We've worked very hard in the off season to, to get that way. But it also takes depth. And um, the other day we played nine in our scrimmage and had a guy or two out. Uh, could very well play as many as ten on any given day or given game. Uh, and I think that makes us, uh, you know, be able certainly to play the way that we really want to play offensively. From a uh, general perspective, because we can't get into too many specifics of these closed scrimmages, um, generally, how did that scrimmage go? How nice was it to play someone outside yourself? Well, it was good to play somebody other than, than uh, like you said, ourself in practice. Guys get tired of that after 20 practices. So from that standpoint, it was good. I thought we did some good things. Um, we turned the ball over 20 times that led to 27 points. That was my biggest concern coming out of it. I thought their three-point shooters got way too many good looks. We had some blown coverages and defensive assignments. And those things you'll pay, you know, when, when you do that. So we've got to sure, be a little bit more sure with the ball, Chad, and then we've defensively got to be able to take away threes from really good three-point shooters. So, you know, we've got a lot of work to do. Uh, I do think it was a step in the right direction, and it was certainly good to compete against someone of the quality of Andy's program. From the, the guys that, uh, who have been on the squad from, and been with you uh, for the last couple of years, um, who might be some of the new faces and new names that the Zips fans might uh, want to know about well, coming this season? Yeah, we've got a lot of them. We're really an odd team in that you know, we have this group of guys that are what I call our senior citizens group you know, that are pretty old and experienced and have a lot of reps and games under their belt. And then we have just a ton of newcomers. You know, we've got two guys sitting out, Trimble and Daly. We've got the freshmen and Edwards and, and uh, Tribble and Ali. You know, we've, uh, Zarius didn't play, although he was in the system last year for the sit-out year. The other day was his first chance to play against someone, you know, other than our own guys in well over a year. You know, so we've got a blend uh, of guys, new guys, old guys, and, um, you know, I think from a team chemistry standpoint, the good news is that the guys really like each other. They like being around each other. Uh, you can tell that they've been very respectful of each other and uh, I think have every intention to want to be good and be a team. You know, we've got to get our conditioning's got to get better. Our execution's got to get better. And we just got to be a lot sharper on both sides of the ball right now, you know, for us to be the best version of ourselves, which is really you know, every coach's goal each year, they want to overachieve. And, you know, I do think we have a chance to do that. We've just got to shore up some things. Lastly, Coach, I know last year you started giving jerseys out during practice, the Drew Joyce jersey. Uh, who who of, the, of the two jerseys that you've given out, uh, who over this preseason has, like, kept that jersey? Or is it changing often? Who are the guys who are getting those? Well, the Drew Joyce jersey has varied quite a bit. Um, you know, obviously our primary uh, ball handlers and playmakers, that's the – assist award for the day you know cheese jackson uh, tribble even ali uh, scott walter um, you know those guys that handle the ball a lot for us have typically been our guys that have won that award and it's varied quite a bit amongst that group the rebounding deal has been pretty pretty consistent it's cam cameron reese i mean he's every once in a while i'd say x uh, zirius williams is probably our second um, guy that's earned the award uh, the Fred Folding jersey the most. 
but by far and away, Cameron Reese, you know, he's our guy that can really rebound the ball per minute play. We knew that when we recruited him, and uh, he just has a knack for securing rebounds. He's done a great job on the glass for us. Appreciate the time, Coach, and uh, best of luck uh, coming up. We'll talk to you before the home opener on November 5th against Malone. For the Zips Digital Network, have a great rest of your week, and as always, go Zips.